Jed Arane writes, there have been a few articles and videos on this subject, and many of them imply that Oscar Isaac himself is hinting to fans that his character is gay. For Star Wars, an openly gay character is definitely new ground. Personally, I have absolutely no problem with the character being gay, but I'd rather not see Star Wars being used or forced into having to deal uh, with forced, this subject did there. <laughs> simply because of its popularity. I want all of the future Star Wars films to be the best they possibly can be, and some fans feel that Lucasfilm under Disney might sacrifice the best possible story because of political correctness. Is there such thing as being too politically correct in a film? All right, let's work backwards in your email. So let's get to that, the, the question you asked in the last line. Is there such thing as being too politically correct? Yes, there absolutely is. Mm -hmm. Like I've said before in the show, I don't like it when movies get preachy. I, I don't mind points of view in a movie, but I don't like when they get overtly preachy. You know, I, I talked about how, you know, that, that uh, one Christian faith movie, War Room, turns me off because I don't like preachy movies. Tomorrowland. <laughs> yeah, well, a Disney property. Yeah, yeah. yeah a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah a little yeah. bit. Not as overt, but a little bit. But at the same time, you know, I, I, I'm a huge Ricky Gervais fan, but I don't necessarily like his movies because he's very preachy of, of uh, anti-religion preachy. So, and I don't like either extreme. I, I just don't like it. So can there be too much PC? Yeah, anytime a movie kind of sacrifices its storytelling to push an agenda. If an agenda exists within a story, a story, that's fine because that's life, right? But when a studio or some filmmakers will sometimes sacrifice story for the sake of pushing an agenda, yeah, that's too much. But is that the situation here? And the answer to that is a resounding no. Okay, first of all, I don't think Poe Dameron's character is gonna be a Gare character. Not that it wouldn't matter either way, but if you, in the script, it actually looks like they might have the beginnings of some romantic, some romantic overtures between uh, Ray and Poe. Not, nothing explicit, but it looks like they might be hinting towards that. We'll see where that goes, if anything at all. But even if he does turn out to be a gay character, you mentioned in your email, I understand where you're coming from in the email. So, you know, some people are saying that maybe they're sacrificing story for the sake of having a gay character. Well, let's say Poe Dameron does end up being a gay character. How does that change anything that we saw in The Force Awakens? Like when he pulls that barrel roll in the X-Wing to shoot down the TIE fighter, spoilers, um, <laughs> to shoot, you saw it in the trailer. When he pulls a barrel roll to shoot down a TIE fighter, does our perception of that maneuver and the visual effects and the action of that scene change because the guy behind the stick, pun, uh, the guy behind the stick just happened to be a gay character? No. He uses makes... gay force powers. What's wrong with that? <laughs> it makes. Gay force powers, obviously. It makes no difference in the universe at all. And, and to the other point, this actually, if Poe Dameron is a gay character, it doesn't actually break new ground in the Star Wars universe. As you know, starting a couple of years ago, all the new novels are actually full official canon, right? Well, in the novel that you've heard us talk a lot about, Lords of the Sith, there is actually a Imperial Moth, uh, a woman Imperial Moth in it, who is a gay character. Now, they don't, they don't make a big deal out of it. They just mention her wife at one point. But this is not new. This wouldn't be new ground for Star Wars. And think about this. A recent Gallup poll said that like 3.8% of Americans identify themselves as gay or lesbian. 3.8%. Now, you may not think that's a very big number. But if we, I go down to a LA Kings game later at a packed Staples Center, 20,000 people, right? That means minimum 760 people, uh, Americans who are in that stadium, identify themselves as being gay or lesbian. So, I mean, if that's a, a, a proportional representation, then why not have a character or two represent that? Not because you're trying to push an agenda, but because it's a little bit of a reflection of reality. And so if that's the case, I don't see the problem. I don't see, and if Poe Dameron ends up being a gay character, that does not change the story. That does not sacrifice the story. That doesn't change shit, sorry. That doesn't change anything. So no, I, I don't think so. Is there such thing as 2PC? Yes, but is this a situation of that? Absolutely not. Anyway, Mark, how do you see it? I have no problems if they make Poe Dameron gay. My only issue would be if you make him gay and then you don't see him kiss a dude on screen or at least have a relationship with the dude on screen. If you're just making him gay for the sake of having him be gay, it'd be like the time they made a gay Muppet. It's like, well, that's great, but I didn't know Muppets had sexual feelings towards each other to begin with. I have my suspicions about Bert and Ernie. But I, I have my knew. opinions. <laughs> yeah, yes. but like, like it, it, it didn't it didn't like further that or anything. It didn't, didn't get you a window into a character. With Poe, if it gets you a window into his character and it means that like Han and Leia together, that was such a fruitful relationship. We saw why we needed all that screen time to, to devote to that. So if you want to do something like that, just make sure you're devoting the proper lineage to it as well. Let us know more about these two guys together, whoever he's got his advances on. That's what I want to see. Yeah, you know what? The other weird thing about this is 
Star Wars is just in general is is not overtly sexual. I mean, it's like Han and Leia. There's certain certain people who unless are the, it's siblings. Yeah, then, then, then there's some you sexual have, tension. Then you have, <laughs> yeah, you have, so Han and Leia, Luke, those those are the main characters. It was always about father daughter father son relationships, and uh, I don't know. Making Poe Gam uh, Poe Dameron gay is, means nothing. I think it's like. It's like if you uh, remember the Star Wars holiday Christmas special. They Why celebrated, are you bringing that up? They celebrated. I keep telling you never to bring that there's up. There's a planet called Kaishik, people. Okay, <laughs> and it's a planet full of Wookies. And they all love each other. They celebrate Life Day, and it's everybody life celebrating day. Life Day. That's right. So you know, there's nothing wrong with it. I don't think. I mean, it's like it's a moot issue. John yeah, I mean, brings up a great point, though. Is it? It's fine if Poe Dameron kisses a guy on screen as long as that guy isn't his brother. Yeah, then we're good. Then but, it's good. but think about this too. Like the way, like they handled it in the in the novel. They just, it just mentions that that moth's that moth who's a female had a wife, and they don't make an issue out of it. Right. So what is the big deal, honestly, if they go down into the uh, the control room of the resistance and it's like, oh, hey, that guy happens to have green hair. Are they pushing an agenda for green hair? No, that dude just happens to have green hair. That guy happens to have a beard. That guy's wearing a black jumpsuit while that guy's wearing an orange rebel jumpsuit. And that guy's gay, that guy's straight. They're not making the story about, they're not making Star Wars about a, a gay love story or anything, even if they did. Who cares? Yeah. If it's not affecting the story and it's just telling story about characters and people and it's a representation of who's there, then what's the big deal? And it, why is it why would there be if, an issue if at you all? want if you want Star Wars uh, gay fiction, you can go to any slash site that's available. And I'm sure there's a billion different stories and they're there for you. you know? Hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.